हेलो एंड टुडे विल बी प्लेइंग टिम बॉन सो इट इज हैप्पी न्यू ईयर फॉर एवरीवन आई विश एंड मे बी दिस टाइम वी विल कंटिन्यू अ सीरीज टू अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी विल बी प्लेइंग एज फॉक टेल्स एंड इन द नॉर्मल प्लेन्स मैप वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द इंटायरिटी ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल so that we don't have to complete it all the way around but there are many maps and i don't think i will be using others quite now but at the same time we'll continue with the plains map only so i um, played it in the normal for the uh, tutorial part and i think normal is quite good so i will be going in the normal it's not quite that hard according to me at the same time so here we are and what should we name it so it's happy new year so 2023 will be good i think okay so here we have our district center and this is the map we have about 7 Yes, seven adults, four childrens. First and foremost, we need to cut out these logs. We need to make practically anything, and we need food. So we have two food posts and lumberjack flags over here, and there are some trees over here. So two over here. The problem I had in the previous turn is that you see that. Uh, part in the tutorial part i which in which i played it constantly get flooded so i didn't really had made any dams and other things so i think that will be a real game changer and some buildings have no people okay two will be going from here and i think that should be, oh we didn't mark any trees to be cut down so all of this should be cut down I think yes, and everything from here we left one over here, and all of these two. So we will need a forester. In the tutorial part, <coughs> sorry, in the tutorial part, uh, the trees used to die and not grow every single time. So we need to have a forester which, who will plant out trees for us. but uh, currently we don't can't have anything and yeah this much storage is fine i think whenever i destroy this the water comes in but after the new uh, when the drought ends it keeps flooding every time so i won't be doing it now for for now but we'll see how it goes from there this will accept logs and this will accept uh, berries berries so moving on and so we have a lot of dry area over here but the area near to the water itself is only the green part and the problem is this is kind of a peninsula and so water is kind of forced over here and we will have a straight i think we will cut down a straight path for it so that it won't have to go all the way around and i think we will not have any problems regarding that flooding again but that's a long time ahead because first we need a constant supply of lumber i think then we need to make some kind of other machinery is like paper i think paper is required for dynamites so that's long time away okay so the storage is been built and let's see what we can oh yeah another thing that's quite important is water i didn't really put it down but if we don't really do it they will all die from thirst so basically i 
put it right over here because water comes from this side and it will be quite easy to get it at the end of the drought season if we don't have any water storage left i think one is for now and we need some storage for it but before that we need to connect it and this path is getting quite crooked we'll deal with it later on about two tanks are enough i think but let's build two more so we are getting logs and everything but we don't have any housing yet it's not quite necessary in such short time i think because increasing the living standard of beavers will at the same time increase the health uh, working efficiency and other things but we will deal with it later on currently we need a lot of log and we need to dial up the working hours it's quite early game and i seem so bad that they have to work for 23 hours but they will see sleep when they need to sleep they will drink water when they need to drink water and they'll eat when they need to eat so let's skip through the night part and it's really understand that part but at the same time we can't just let go of the precious time that we have because water is not constant and is a key for survival look it's uh, in the morning working hours are on but at the same time several of them are still sleeping because they need to sleep once we have housing and all the all the other related quality of life things well being things then we will have some other first but for all of that we will need some signs these herds inventor herds will give us everything i think we'll share them to the back i'm putting down three for now but i only need one because i need that uh, staircase part we'll see where it goes from there on we can make lodging now i don't think it's quite that necessary the working efficiency everyone has work they don't live anywhere so should we just build it now the water is about to be completed i think everyone is working we'll really need those hollows because manually doing all these things will reduce our efficiency of the work where are you going <laughs> these people are coming all the way from there what are they doing he just came up with a log and is now going with another log what so let's pause this side one of them because there are only two trees left over here so one can do that and one will pump waters uh, water for everyone but we need storage and that's quite important and the storage is being built i can mark these for destruction but they are not quite in the way any thing if i decide to put anything over there they will just disappear but at the same time if i can so why not there's lot over there see several of them go dead so that's a problem we have quite a food reserve now a 50 is 150 is quite a lot of food to have for this many people and we will have one more worker in a few hours i think we should make the lodging at this point we have the wood there is nothing much to do but before that we need to secure food the berries are going to be out harvested in the near future and this area is quite a peninsula so it's green from all the sides less than that area that's dry and if the water comes here over here it will be not flooding so i think we will have not flood this area because this will flood that entire part again and again that happened in my tutorial i didn't quite really record it but i can tell you it is very annoying that every time it just floods over constantly that's another problem but we have so much food so just pause them and send them to do some more 
creation and put a farm house about there i think will be a good one so one will be in this side another will be on the flip side of this road and in the later on currently only one and we will plant a lot of carrots for these this will be good for a long while we can have i think several more people in this amount of food although food never really spoils in this world yeah but at the same time when we have large population then how fast the food will just evaporate we will have no idea i think having a district center in the middle is not quite a good idea i will just shift it in the back migrate everyone to this district too how much infinite and just destroy this one it has some berries we will cope up with it later so see everything is not connected to any district center that's a problem and now it's all connected so we will name this new district center so what should be the name so apsara seems a good enough name and all this rubble has some of those berries but our storage is full we have 60 to food so we need to prioritize our farming and science production but at the same time we need more people to cut out more of the logs because lacking of logs isn't the reason i think but at the same time we will require all of that so this is about it for this one and we'll see you in the next one so have a happy new year and bye bye